Welcome back to Isha Gaming. It's been some time since last time I did a Switch buying guide. So I am making a new one. And I'm going to go over hardware and the most essential accessories and some of the games that I feel like you should consider picking up at day one. This is gonna be all the things that I feel like you need to know in order to get started. There are two versions of the Switch. You have the Switch Lite and the original Big Switch. The Switch Lite can play only in handheld and the original can be docked and be played on your TV. And right off the bat I want to say that I recommend the original one because of that actual switching. But the Switch Lite is less expensive and it could work for you if you know that you're only going to play in handheld anyway. But I like to have that option and that is probably the biggest selling point of the Switch. The actual switching between TV and bed gaming. So absolutely I recommend the original Switch. You can also buy several docking stations separately if you want to have a dockable option in several rooms or at, I don't know, a family person's place. There are also several controllers for the Switch. Third party ones and actual releases from Nintendo. This is the Pro Controller and yes it is somewhat expensive at least in Norway but I feel like this is a must-have and I highly recommend getting a Pro Controller. Some other accessories that I highly recommend. They are called grips. They are attachable grips that you attach to your Switch. And I have a Piranha grip on my Switch Lite. And this is also my currently favorite grip on the original Switch and it is Skull and Co grip. Another thing that you can customize on your Switch is by buying separately colored Joy-Cons. But you can also find sticker decals this is what my Switch looks like. I love it. They are the Animal Crossing Joy-Cons and a Galaxy sort of print sticker decal. Now, of course, I also recommend having some sort of case or bag for your Switch. And I find this one to be really convenient. It is just something that I found on eBay and it can hold all my physical Switch games. That way I don't have to get the cover and take the game out of the cover and all of that. I can see with one glance at this all my games. All my physical games anyway. I have a lot of games digitally too. Actually I have more games in digital than physical. Another super essential accessory. And I feel like not many people will tell you about this. That is, you need an SD card. In my opinion at least 32 gigabyte and up. I have 200 and something in mine and I have filled that up. So yeah. Now what is a buying guide without mentioning some games that I feel like you should pick up? Now we can start off with some free games <laughs> that you don't have to pay for, they are free to play, but they also have microtransactions in them. And some games that I recommend that are free are Paladins, which is a game much like Overwatch. So it is a competitive PvP game. Some other free games that I could recommend are Warface, which is a first-person shooter and I've mentioned it so many times on my channel. You have Warframe, which is a third-person shooter, very futuristic in its style and it runs incredibly smooth on the Switch. Then of course you have Dauntless, which is like a free monster hunter. You have Fortnite, Pokemon Quest. And on top of all of this, you have all sorts of demos. Some of the huger demos that I can think of include Dragon Quest XI's demo, that is really long, and Dragon Quest Builders 2 demo. I recommend Dragon Quest Builders 2. I mean, there are a bunch of demos, so just look around within the eShop and see what you can find. Now, games to purchase. Personally, I would start off with Zelda Breath of the Wild because that was my first game. So you can buy games for the Switch both on the eShop and in physical cartridges. There is a really big indie market on the Switch, so there's a bunch of cheap games too. I actually have like a full top 10 video. I have several top 10 videos, but my main top 10 video of the best games that I consider to be the best games on the Switch, you can see that in the card in the corner. But in my opinion, some of the most solid choices would be the first party choices, first party Nintendo games. Super Mario Odyssey, a massive 3D platformer that suits everyone in the family, including all ages. I think it's really approachable that way. Like I mentioned, Breath of the Wild, because it is a really big open world. But I can see how some people do not like this, because it can actually be quite hardcore with your weapons breaking and all of that. And 
the world is really overwhelmingly big but i enjoyed this i had a blast for 230 hours in this game it is actually still my most played game on the switch i think skyrim is my favorite game in the entire world and it is just magical it is a high fantasy rpg game where you have a lot of freedom to do almost whatever you want a lot of cities big open world, highly recommend Skyrim and I think I always will recommend Skyrim. Now Xenoblade is also really good if you are into really good traditional RPGs. You have Definitive Edition which is Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and you have Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I actually recommend number one. I played it more and I played it on the Wii so many years ago. Uh, but both are good. Also Torna is good. Uh, just good. This is also actually one of my hidden gems on the Switch <laughs> because I feel like I am the only one talking about it. Fire Emblem Warriors, I had such a blast with this game. Highly recommend it. It is a Muso title, which means war on a big map and you hack and slash through a lot of enemies at once. Now I also very much recommend Astral Chain by Platinum Games. Such a unique and special game and it is highly optimized for the Switch because it is a Nintendo Switch exclusive game. Now if niche JRPGs are your thing, there are plenty of them on the Switch. Like Fate Extella and Brawl Star, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. The entire Italian series is soon on the Switch. They're only missing a few titles, but I highly recommend Italian. And Shining Resonance Refrain. It also has a demo. If you're more of a traditional gamer, on the other hand, I think this would be your very best choice. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It has Super Mario 64, which you may actually remember, depending on how old you are right now. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy, all full 3D Mario games. Highly recommend this package. Get this one. Other than that, I can say Animal Crossing is quite solid. A lot of people are enjoying Animal Crossing. It, it is just super crazy. You have Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I also recommend. Fire Emblem Three Houses and the recently released Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. That is the good Hyrule Warriors, in my opinion. You have Luigi's Mansion 3, which I also recommend, but it is a puzzle adventure game, so you know what you're getting into. Now for more hardcore RPG fans, I would say Skyrim, like I said, but also Dragon's Dogma. I feel like that is an underrated game and I have a review up for most of these games actually on my channel. And if you enjoy my content so far, <laughs> please consider subscribing. Now for first person shooters, I would say Borderlands and the Sniper Elite series. I was so surprised by how good the Sniper Elite series was actually. Now for another JRPG that I forgot to mention earlier, we have Nino Kuni, which I recommend you watch my review of. Now for the genre of life simulators, you have My Time at Porsche, and you have Story of Seasons, and actually also Graveyard Keeper. I loved it. Now if you want some ARPG, like the traditional ARPG sort of genre, I highly recommend Torchlight 3. I'm sort of currently also playing that game. And of course Diablo 3. Highly recommend Diablo 3. Put it on your wish list if you haven't played it. But also there are Titan Quest and Victor Bran and Torchlight 2 actually. <laughs> now if you are a competitive person, I recommend Overwatch and also Paladins. Now some other just big RPGs in general, I want to say The Outer Worlds. I like that game. And you have the newer game, Immortals Phoenix Rising, also did a review of that. <laughs> and you have Witcher 3 actually also on this thing. Not the best version of the game though, gotta admit. Now, if you feel like you are a super casual gamer, I actually have a top 10 video with the best casual gamers games. All of those games are really safe to start with when you're starting out. I feel like I am now giving you what I consider to be the best start with getting a Switch. The best games to start with and the most essential accessories, like the SD card and a bag and a grip. And maybe a case for all of your games also. I love it. But just a warning, actually. Do not use third-party docking stations. They can actually destroy your Switch. And also, be prepared for something called Joy-Con Drift. That basically means that you have to 
clean your Joy-Con or replace it with a new one and that can be really annoying and a lot of people actually experience that. But not all the time, so you know, don't worry. Another thing I can say is that I feel like the battery life is good on the Switch and I play it a lot. And if you buy a Switch used, chances are that there could be already an established Animal Crossing Island save file on the Switch. Stuff like that. Now, if you are buying a Switch for a kid, there are parental controls on it. Now, I hope I helped you a tiny bit uh, on your decision to either get a Switch or which games you want to get for it first. So I hope you enjoy your Switch. It is such a fun console. It is my favorite console. Try not to drop it. And yeah, what can I say? Get Stardew Valley while you're at it. Also, there's Mario Kart. I forgot to mention Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. And Smash Brothers. But I don't play Smash Brothers. But Mario Kart is good. Now, thank you so much for watching my little video. And I hope you decide to subscribe to Isha Gaming. And I post a lot of fun videos about the Switch and gaming. Please hit like on my video. And follow my Instagram and Twitter. I post on both of those every day. Now, I hope I will see you down in the comment section. I know there are a lot of silent watchers out there, silent viewers, I mean, that never comments. But I want you to break that silence today and leave a comment down below. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.